back to my channel. This week I wanted to talk about some stocking stuffer ideas for um, toddlers and babies. So specifically my two-year-old son, what I got for his stocking, and for my almost six-month-old, um, what I have for his stocking. So I'm just gonna dive right into it and start with Grayson stockers. Um, most of the things I have for Grayson stocking is honestly just from the dollar store. They have tons of great stuff, obviously, um, for a great price. And he's so little that it he, he'll be excited about anything. But I did find a lot of great things at the dollar store. Um, I'm gonna start with this hot chocolate bomb. I grabbed a handful of these to add to different gifts, um, like little baskets. I might do a little hot chocolate basket for friends and family. These are just fun to like throw into random gifts you have for other people. Uh, yeah, so hot chocolate bomb is the first thing for Grayson's stocking. The next thing I got that is a treat is this Rudolph snack mix. This is also from the dollar store. It has peanut butter um, Rudolph figures. So it looks like they have the, the narrator, snowman, Rudolph, and then um, Santa. And they're filled with peanut butter and then there's pretzels and peanuts. The next thing I got were these little towels. What are they called again? Oh, the magic towels. I remember these from when I was little. Um, we'll use them for like bath time, I think. You just put them in the water and they unravel into like a little hand towel. So I thought you would like those. There's a Spider-Man and a Mickey Mouse. These are also from the dollar store. The next thing I got are some Whack and Pack balloons. The, they're Christmas themed. So these are actually pretty cool. You, I know he'll have fun with these because he enjoys bubble wrap and um, bubble packaging from packages in the mail. He likes stepping on them and hitting them and seeing them pop. So these you either can put it on the counter like it shows there and you hit it with your fist and then it pops up into a balloon or you can put it between your hands and clap it and it'll pop up to a balloon. They also come with little so you can make it into an ornament. So those are kind of fun. I'm gonna put those in his stocking. All right, another thing from the dollar store is this carry along activity pad. This will be good to take, take to like restaurants or something like that. And it does have stickers. He really, he loves stickers. Rudolph stickers. And it comes with a few markers too. And then along with that, I got him this Rudolph coloring book from the dollar store. I did grab some colored pencils too. He does have jumbo crayons um, that he likes to color with. And then the next thing I got, this is actually really a really good find. I love this. You can see my reflection of the phone. Um, it's a wooden shape puzzle and it's so nice. It's like the Melissa and Doug ones, but this was just from the dollar store. So that is a great stocking stuffer, even for a one-year-old. Um, but yeah, Grayson really likes his shapes and he'll love this. The next thing from the dollar store I got was this cute pair of fuzzy socks for little kids. It looks, I, yeah, they'll fit him perfect. They are a size one to seven for like little kids. He wears a size nine, 10 um, shoe, but these look stretchy. So those will be perfect for him. Next dollar store find for his stocking are these two adorable Christmas books. He loves books. He actually, right now has all his, both the boys are in bed. It's like 7, 7.30, almost eight o'clock right now. Um, every night and every bedtime, nap time I mean, 
he drags out all the books he has and any toys and puts them on his bed and he just sits there and flips through them. He loves books. I think he's going to love reading. Um, so yeah, this one is Snowman and Friends and then the Sweet Gingerbread Man dollar store finds. And the last dollar store find for his stocking is this cute little Santa Claus ball shooter. You just squeeze it. Oh, gotta put it in there first. Squeeze it and it pops out. I think he'll have fun with those. My parents always put little things like this in our stockings. Usually they were um, like little guns uh, and you would put the balls or darts, whatever, and they were in my stocking, my sibling stockings and both my parents had them and we would just go around the house playing with them. So these are always fun things to add I, no matter what age. So that is all of the dollar store finds for his stocking. Next, I have just a couple of things I got from a Shein order I placed um, a few weeks ago. I got these two little, San there's a Santa poppet. They're like little keychain ones. And then a reindeer one. I thought these were super cute and he loves the poppets and I like that they're small and they can just fit in his stocking. The next thing I got for his stocking is another poppet toy also from Shein. This one is like a little bracelet watch thing for him to wear. Um, I got another one too but I don't know where I put it because he snuck into my room and then got into all of his stocking stuffers and brought it out so I hid it somewhere and hopefully I'll be able to find it soon. Um, that is all for Grayson's stocking so far. Um, he, I might add a few more things, maybe, um, oh, like a chocolate milk or an orange juice or something with our stockings. We like to add a drink um, with our stocking just so there's something to have in the morning. So I'll probably get him a chocolate milk to go with his stocking. But yeah, some soup, it's just a super inexpensive, stocking stuffers for him and I know he's gonna enjoy all of it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Cooper's. First thing for little Cooper's stocking, he's almost six months old, so there's not a lot of um, toys per se in his stocking or candies, um, just kind of necessities and things that we'll end up using. So I got him this strawberry banana oatmeal cereal. It's been a long time since I've had to buy any of this, so there's that. Um, I love getting these puffs. They are the best. They taste so good. Cranberry orange. I remember getting these for Grayson's stocking um, when he was six months old because the boys are both born in June. So their timelines are exactly the same. So Grayson was six months old the first Christmas and Cooper will be six months old his first Christmas. But these, um, they're just like a Christmassy flavor. Super yummy. He's gonna love these. The next thing I got, um, so those poppets that I got for Grayson, they came in a four pack. So I got two for Cooper stocking. I'm sure Grayson will take them, but Cooper is starting to use his hands, so I'm sure he'll like playing with these. The next thing I got for Cooper stocking are these teething tubes. I haven't used these before, but their reviews were great and they look easy to hang on to. So I am sure he will like them and they come with little cleaning brushes too. Um, so I can like throw them in the dishwasher or hand wash them and then use the tube to clean out the center. The next thing I have, the last thing I have for his stocking in person, I still have to order a few things and I'll um, show pictures of what else I got him in a second, but is this four pack of full size bibs. I took one of them out of its plastic packaging so I can show you what they look like. They just go, they'll grow like a regular bib. So he'll put his little arms in there and this will go around his neck and Velcro so he doesn't get his clothes dirty. Um, these will be great to take out to restaurants. 
not like we go to restaurants with a toddler and a baby anyway but if we do then Grayson will have this and Cooper will have this um yeah these are super cute they were pretty inexpensive I'll link everything below in the description that I got from like Amazon or Shein the dollar store stuff I won't link because it's just from the dollar store but here's one of them it's cute and it has little reindeer this one has teddy bears little cactus and this one has little dinos so that is all I have for Cooper stocking right now. I'm going to go ahead and pull up some of the things I have on the way so you can see what else is gonna be in his stocking. The next thing that is gonna be in Cooper's stocking that just isn't here right now is going to be baby paper. Baby paper is great. I've talked about it in my videos before. Um, these colors are perfect. The red, black, and white contrast. He'll love it. He loves the feeling and he loves the sound of the little crinkling. Um, so that is always a good thing to put in a little one's stocking. The next thing that is on the way are these cute little baby fuzzy socks. I like the blue colors. They look so warm and fuzzy and since Grayson has a pair of fuzzy socks, I'm excited that Cooper gets to have a pair of fuzzy socks too. The next thing that is on the way for Cooper's stocking is this adorable sleep sack. It is so cute. I got the gray and the turquoise one. There are a bunch of other colors, but I liked this one the most. Um, I like that it snaps up top and it looks super warm and the price is great. So that is all for this video. Just a super quick, easy um, stocking stuffer ideas for a toddler and a baby. Nothing too intense, but I know Grayson will really enjoy all of his stocking stuffers and Cooper, I will enjoy that he has something even though he won't even know how to take it out of the stocking. Um, I think I might do another video about um, what I got the boys for Christmas or some ideas for uh, kiddos their age and maybe even ideas for a one-year-old too even though I don't have a one-year-old right now um, I can give some ideas of what I got for Grayson last year when he was one for Christmas anyway thank you so much for tuning in and watching my video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next in my next videos. I love getting ideas. Um, and yeah, 